Hello everyone, I am uh, Francesco Bori. I am a British-Italian storyteller um, based in Toronto, Canada right now, and this is where I was making the film Friday. I don't personally see myself as a director as such. I was a full-time filmmaker, and in the past three years I also ventured into the museum and culture sector. So among things, right now I still make some films, but I also run a film festival and I curate a museum uh, locally. Um, for me, it's about uh, the stories and the awareness more than the medium that you use. So I do use multimediums uh, in an immersive way, hopefully, in the sectors that I work in. And I've learned that when before it was much more important for me to have a higher resolution, right now it's more important to have a good story. I also want to reach the audience in a more uh, expressive way, educational way, and raise awareness for good causes. So uh, that is where I am right now. Um, I value uh, connecting people with uh, uh, topics that can be seen as stigmatized um, in various parts of the world. Uh, the film Friday is a very significant film, and right now is a very significant time. April is Autism Awareness Month. Um, April 2nd, which was yesterday, is uh, seen by many as Autism Awareness Day or Autism Acceptance Day. So I made the film Friday. Friday was uh, the April 2nd of last year when I actually made the film. Um, because, you know, having uh, had the diagnosis uh, about 15 years ago myself, um, I had a very hard time, uh, you know, getting used to this concept and dealing with other people and um, all of the connected stigmas of uh, autism. Uh, autism can be seen as a disability. I see it as, uh, yes, a disability um, uh, and very debilitating in some ways, but also very much a superpower. So it's all about connecting the audience uh, and people with what the topic of autism really is. I definitely, um, I could say, took advantage of um, the COVID pandemic, uh, which was very devastating in many ways, uh, but I took advantage of that to make this film remotely uh, and interview people all around the globe, um, including the world-famous Dr. Temple Grandin, who appears in the film. So I think the fact that resolution wasn't the most important thing, but the content was, enabled me to reach out to so many more people um, around the world, get their personal insights, make the film very humble, um, and essentially reach more people as a result. So yes, uh, not a lot of good came out of COVID, but that period of time enabled me to make this film a global film and hopefully reach out to a global audience with it. Um, so yes, I hope to raise more awareness, I hope to connect more people with this topic, and I hope to make it less stigmatized and more acceptable. Um, and I want everyone to see the real goodness in everyone uh, who has autism in, in some shape or form. So I have it. Um, everyone in the film uh, has uh, autism in some form of diagnosis. And I do believe from my research, this is the potentially the first ever full length feature film uh, to be made by someone on the autism spectrum, uh, it's got some crew on the autism spectrum, and it's got an exclusive cast on the autism spectrum. Uh, again, a superpower in many ways. So thank you very much for uh, embracing this film, especially at this very important time. And I hope, to, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if anyone has any questions and wants to reach out, I absolutely welcome that uh, to make the topic more clear. And uh, yeah, I embrace this opportunity. So thank you very much, everyone.